The one you all think sucks. I'm gonna learn you otherwise today, ladies and gentlemen. Hello everyone, uh, I eat your face back with a- We're gonna do- This is the first on the channel. I'm going to be showing you how to use specific Pokemon. I'll, I'll do more of these as y'all want them, but the first one I thought I'd do is one of the most controversial controversial Megas in Pokemon Brick Runs. The first one you get, Mega Absol. The reason I wanted to do this one first is because everybody, under the assumption that it sucks, it's bad, it's terrible, don't use it, it's weak. Well, I'm here to tell you otherwise. Everybody just assumed it was bad because the free one you got wasn't good at all. Anyway, we're gonna get right into this. I'm Basically, this is just me going over some sets that I put together for the Pokemon. And, well, yeah, some basic tips on how to use them. So, we're gonna get right into this. The first set I put together for y'all was the one I know was is the one that I currently use on my Mega Absol. It's a simple sword stance set with Sucker Punch Pursuit and Play Rough. The, uh, one of the things I'll say here is that these two moves are optional. Uh, I would you don't need Sucker Punch or Pursuit. Well, I mean you're gonna want one or the other, but you could also use like Night Slash over one or the other just so you can guarantee some form of solid damage instead of relying on say someone attacking you for the sucker punch or them switching for the pursuit and then to round out the moves that we have play rough to cover fighting types uh, hit dragon types hit opposing dark types and it's just a solid coverage between dark and fairy it goes nearly unresisted there's only one type combination in the entire game that resists both dark and fairy and that is uh, Steel and Fairy. So anyway, the, the EVs are pretty simple. 252 attack, 252 speed. If you're going to be level 100, I would suggest going for special defense to keep your HP odd. But like if you're doing level 100 battles. But if you're going to be doing level 50, I would suggest putting the 4 in health because that will make your HP odd so you take less from Stealth Rock or the percentage damage isn't as bad from Stealth Rock spikes and all that stuff. Anyway, but basically this set, it sets up on passive Pokemon and or uh, catches people on switches and it's a general late game sweeper. And it's also very good at revenge killing and trapping things like uh, Gengar and Espeon. It, it's speed tier is nice because it outspeeds things like Gengar and uh, Espeon. Uh, what, what are some other things that outspeeds? One of uh, uh, can trap the Lati Lotties, Latios, Latios, and Miss Magius too. But anyway, the thing people have to note now that uh, Port Deck, now that they fixed Mega's speed, getting their speed turn one, is that well. It goes from base 75 to base 115 immediately. So, if you're up against a Gengar, you don't have to click Sucker Punch. If you if you have Night Slash, you can just go right for that, and you'll go before the Gengar. So, you don't have to worry about that. Uh, if you're using Pursuit, you just you got to be able to predict when they're going to switch. Though the the thing I will say is because there's such a negative feeling with Absol, people think it's weak, it's going to be a while before people start feeling threatened by it, so Pursuit may not be the best option right as of right now, but I would still breed Pursuit as it because this is an egg move, I would breed this onto it, replace it with Night Slash, and when people start switching out against it, that's when I'd bring Pursuit back in. So like for now, I think the best is Sucker Punch Night Slash, but when people start feeling threatened by it, then I'd switch over to Pursuit to catch those switches. Anyway, the next set I want to go over is the uh, it's a flamethrower set instead of sword stance. Here you're going to be putting you're going to be running flamethrower. And again, you can run night slash on either sucker punch or pursuit. And the EV spread here is it, it can vary depending on what level you battle and what you want to do. So, if you're battling at level 100, 
I would suggest if you want a 50, if you're using the move Stealth Rock, which I highly recommend you do, it really helps Absol clean up late game. You can either use 72 special attack to get a 50% chance to KO a bulky Mega Scizor after a, stealth, after a Stealth Rock. This gives this investment gives you 50% chance after Stealth Rock to one hit KO a bulky Mega Scizor with Flamethrower. Now, if you want to uh, guarantee that one hit KO, it's going to be 184 EVs at level 100, which will only leave you with 72 attack, which is why I went over the 72 special attack in the first place. But anywhere between 72 special attack and 184 special attack will do the trick fairly nicely. But yeah, you generally use Flamethrower to catch switch-ins to a Mega Scizor because it's bulky enough to take all of your hits except a solid Flamethrower. Um, yeah, but if you're playing level 50, the thing about level 50 is damage calculations are a bit higher than at level 100, so at level 50 you're only going to need 20 special attack to have a 50% chance to knock out Megas a bulky Mega Scizor after rocks. And if you want to bump that up to 100%, uh, you're going to want to run 132 special attack. This is this is all assuming you have 31 special attack IVs, which I recommend you do. So at level 50, anywhere between 20 and 132 and at level 100, anywhere between 72 and 184 to knock out those Mega Scizors after rocks. But then the general set is the same. It's pretty good late game. Can revenge kill, can trap, all that stuff. Anyway, let's move on. Substitute sword stance. This is where against things that like where you threaten them. And it's like one of their win cons and they can't lose it, so they're going to switch out. This is where you put up a substitute. If you're not sure what they're going to go into, I would set up a substitute. The substitute overall is just a fairly safe thing. And then you can sword stance in their face, depending on what it is. And then you have play rough, and then sucker punch can either... It could obviously also be night slash if you need guaranteed damage. And you know PP because Sucker Punch only maxes out at eight, and Night Slash only maxes, and Night Slash has a lot more. So that, there you go. Oh, oops, I forgot to go over. You're gonna want a naive nature with the flamethrower set because you don't want to lower your special attack because Mega Absol has a pretty usable 115 special attack. So that's why I'm recommending it in the first place. Anyway, but with the substitute set, it's just 252 speed, 252 attack, Jolly nature. And then again, 4 special defense if you're level 100, and 4 HP at level 100. Now there are some other cheeky options you can use. These options are kind of eh, but they can have some pretty niche outcomes. Like if you're against a passive Pokemon, you can have Taunt on it. Instead of like Substitute Source Dance, you can have Taunt to like something like a Chansey. You can Taunt it, then swap out. Uh, another thing, what else is pretty passive, Mandibuzz, you can taunt that, and then Ice Beam, Ice Beam can cover if you don't want to run play, play rough, and you just want to be able to hit dragons for 4 times super effective, you can run Ice Beam, then there's Thunder Wave to cripple things, as the, uh, like cripple things on the switch. And then of course Will-O-Wisp to do the same thing, but cripple their attack. Like I said, these these are just some other options you can use. I wouldn't really recommend them. There are other Pokemon that can do these things better, but they're there if you want to use them to like catch your opponent off guard, or if it like fits really well into one of your sets. And then in the, like when we get tutors and specific TMs, there's gonna it's gonna open up a lot of doors for Mega Absol. First things first, knockoff. It's gonna stop running pursuit on the sword stance set and start running knockoff because that's that's gonna help you deal with a lot of Pokemon a lot better. Uh, there's superpower, 
which is what people generally use over play rough because of because of its power it hits really hard base 120 power it's nothing to scoff at and then there's iron tail if you're afraid of fairies you can always run iron tail and then fire blast this is what you're definitely going to be using once that comes out over flamethrower because once you get fire blast you don't need special attack investment you can just go full on 252 252 and maybe like four special attack just to bump that up a little bit but yeah you aren't really going to need any special any real special attack once a uh, fire blast comes out But yeah, that's just some of my two cents on Mega Absol. It's a, it's honestly a pretty good Pokemon. It, it can threaten a lot of things. If you're slower than Mega Absol, you are definitely threatened. If you are fast, but really frail, like Jol things like Jolteon, they're threatened by Mega Absol because Sucker Punch is the thing. Uh, it threatens Scizors because of flames are because of flames are and it's pretty good 115 special attack and it, it's pretty fast it hits hard with the 150 but yeah that's just that's just my thoughts on Mega Absol let me know your thoughts in the comments below and let me know what other Pokemon I should do in the future or like what Pokemon should I cover next like what's a Pokemon you want me to help you understand how to use. So yeah, let me know in the comments below and I'll see y'all in a future video. Uh, see ya.